Alrighty, so we went over what, what the hack is and what you can expect from this serverless hack video series. So now I'm pretty sure we're ready to dive right into the challenges. You can see here up on my screen, I've got the what the hack serverless website up and we can go ahead and click into that first challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to check out the introductory video, which is the video before this one. And with all that being said, hi, my name is Gwen. I'm a cloud developer advocate here at Microsoft and your host for this series of videos and welcome to another video. Alrighty, let's click on set up and let's go ahead and go through challenge number one. So for prereqs, we've got, you need to have a laptop, check mark on that. You need to have admin rights on it. I've got that. An active Azure subscription with contributor level access or equivalent to create or modify resources. I've got that open up here as well. Good to go. Now we need to make sure we set up our local environment. Telling us the first thing here, Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. And for the this particular step here, we have a couple of other things to make sure. So I have both Visual Studio, which is open here, and then I have Visual Studio, actually that's Visual Studio Code, my mistake, and then Visual Studio open here as well. So it's telling us to make sure we've got the Azure development workload for Visual Studio 2019 or 2022, I've got that. And I'm gonna open up my Windows terminal here to verify some of these other things to make sure I have them installed. So it tells us first to do, uh, to make sure we have Azure Functions core tools install installed. So if I do func dash dash version, I, I'll just verify that I have the latest version of Azure Functions core tools, which I do. Then node as well, and I've got that there too. .NET 6, I'm gonna run .NET dash dash version, and I've got the latest version of .NET as well. And finally, it tells us to make sure we've got this to-do tree extension for VS Code, if we're using VS Code. For Visual Studio, you have this to-do functionality already in Visual Studio, so you won't have to install anything outside of it. And then also you need any extensions required by your language of choice. So if I open up this uh, VS Code to-do tree extension, and then I hit install here, I already have this installed, so it's gonna tell me here, hey, do you wanna uninstall this? I don't want to. I'm gonna close this, close this, and then head into my extensions. And a couple of extensions that I also have, Azure Account, Azure Functions, Azure Resources, and the C Sharp extension. Um, those are a couple of ones that are gonna help me out throughout this hack. And then of course, the to-do tree extension as well. So it looks like I've got everything locally to get uh, started with everything, right? If you need to set up Azure Functions on Visual Studio Code, you can follow this guide here. But I do a lot of stuff with functions, so I've got all the tools set up locally already. So awesome. Now, what the hacks are meant to be worked within a team and a coach, and usually before the hack starts, the coach will provide you with a zip file, and that will have the source code and any additional resources that you need. Because this is a video series that's going to be available without a coach and potentially without a team, I'm going to make that zip file available to you in the description of this video and of all the videos in the series. So just check that description box and you'll be able to find the link to download these things. That zip file will look something like this. You'll have resources and then inside here you'll have a license plate folder with some images and then you'll have a toll booth folder with another folder called toll booth and then upload images. Now if we look at the success criteria, it says you have two folders locally one named toll booth, which we have, and the other named license plate. Again, you'll be able to download this via the link in the description. Alrighty, that's it for this video. Pretty quick challenge, but hey, it's important to make sure we have everything that we need installed locally to get to work. And we're gonna go on to the next challenge, which is create a hello world function. 